Yo, what's up, guys? This is Aprix here. Today, we'll be taking an unofficial look at the Skyline Emulator's continuation through Strato Emulator. In other words, we'll be checking out the Skyline Mr. Purple Edition, which also has the features of Strato Emulator. So, right here, you can see I have the Skyline Edge version 69, and this is the Skyline Mr. Purple Edition. It also includes the incomplete Textman code released by the main developers of Skyline before stopping the project. It also includes code of Strato Emulator, and now, there isn't any public build of Strato Emulator now but through its source code people are able to fork it and hence skyline mr purple edition is also open source and you can find it on github now let me just go ahead and open settings and change the theme to light mode so you guys can see better so this right here is the ui of skyline purple edition if i just open settings you will see some purple accents if i enable any option just like this this project is available on github and you can find its build in the actions tab as usual uh, our library has been loaded now Let's reopen settings and take a look at some new features. We won't be turning on this option. Let's scroll down. Dock mode, let's enable this. Uh, enable internet option is also enabled. Show performance statistics will enable this as well. Now there is a new option known as show pause button. And in this edition of Skyline Emulator, you will also get RAM information while emulating a game which is pretty cool. Uh, it is a feature in Strato Emulator which has been added in this emulator as well. Let's scroll down. GPU driver configuration will keep it at system driver because it doesn't really matter on a flagship device. Post triple buffering has been enabled, disable frame throttling has also been enabled. Now let's scroll down. Executor slot count scale. In the normal Skyline emulator we were only able to set it up to 6 but in this edition you can set all the way up to 12. Executor flush threshold doesn't really matter. Post maximum GPU clocks has been enabled, free guest texture memory is also enabled. I have disabled the use direct memory import option because it might give an black screen depending on the game which we are trying to emulate. Enable fast GPU readback as well as writes have been enabled. Now let's go back and there we have it guys. Let me just go ahead and try out Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom and see if it actually boots. Because I have seen a screenshot where one guy was able to emulate uh, Tears of the Kingdom on his Android device and as you can see right here uh, we got the intro screen as well as loading at the bottom left corner. Now I don't think this game will work but in the normal version of Skyline Emulator this game doesn't even boot. But in this edition of Skyline Emulator this game does go in game but has some freezing issues. So we'll take a look at it in future. Let's just go ahead and close this game. Let's reopen Skyline Purple Edition. Let's try out Demon Slayer Hinokami Chronicles and see if the graphical glitches have been fixed or not. I have enabled the disable frame throttling uh, option so that the games load faster. I don't recommend you guys to enable that option as uh, you might face some freezing issues. Seems like the game has frozen and the texture issue is still present but at the top right corner you can see I guess the amount of RAM being used by Skyline Emulator. Uh, so this is a feature from Strato but anyways let's go back and try out our normal game like let's go pikachu and see how well does it actually work i think dock mode has been enabled so let's just go ahead and go to settings and disable dock mode as let's go pikachu doesn't really work with dock mode enabled okay yep now we can choose our controller and there we go we are getting straight up 120 fps as usual let's just go ahead and start the game 133 fps at the top left corner and this game uh, seems kinda better, not going to lie guys. Uh, I think the graphics are improved by a little bit. I'm not really sure so let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this. The graphics might have improved a little bit. I don't know if that's because of the textman code which has been used in this version of Skyline Emulator. But yeah, I do believe that uh, the game looks little better now. Even in open world, I am getting around 100 plus FPS while emulating this game. And if you guys remember then I had made a video on how to get more FPS in Let's Go Pikachu. When I was exploring the open world stuff in that video, I was getting less than 80 FPS. But now you can see uh, I am getting around 90 FPS, 80 to 90 FPS, which is a small improvement. Does the game freeze? That's what we'll be finding out. Gym Leader Brock, okay. He has sent his onyx. You can do it Pikachu. Well Pikachu is weak against rock type pokemons. Come back Pikachu. Go wild bloom. Well I am pretty sad guys that pokemon has gotten rid of ash and the new pokemon series just seems trash. I like to speak the truth guys. The new pokemon series is not really enjoyable without the old characters. But anyways that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Peace out.